Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about counterbalancing your swing, one of the most important things and staying balanced over the golf ball during what should be a really dynamic movement. So what are we talking about here? Well really what we're talking about is the kind of fight, the internal fight between the direction you're swinging your arms and the golf club and the direction that your body should be working when you're doing that. In the old days, we used to talk an awful lot about kind of transferring weight and things of this sort. Fortunately, nowadays, it's more about pressure. But it's very important to, for, you, for you to understand what you should be kind of feeling and doing when you're swinging a golf club so that you don't actually fall into the old traps of trying to uh, move your body weight with the golf club. And on the contrary, you should be almost moving in the opposite direction that the golf club is moving at any point in the golf swing. And I'll show you what I mean here. If you think about it, when you start your golf swing back, you are throwing your arms up in the air and away from the target, which means that the golf club will at some stage start to try and drag you with it. And what you've got to be doing is, is getting a kind of a, a, an opposite energy and opposite movement going when you're actually doing this to stop you actually moving with the club in the backswing and keep you over the golf ball. So as we start the backswing we want to have the feeling of almost resisting with the trail leg and supporting that by the lead leg actually giving way. And as the, the hands hinge, the wrists hinge and you rotate the club onto plane, you now have a force of energy trying to pull you in this direction. An awful lot of you are standing up at this point and you need to provide an opposite energy down towards the ball. And this is where you want to have the feeling of your tummy muscles contracting and pulling that lead shoulder down towards the ball. So at the top of the swing, you almost have the feeling of your armpit pointing at the ball and keeping a kind of a balance between this kind of energy of the club pulling up and back behind you and your own energy basically trying to move almost down into the ground and towards the ball. And this is something that obviously a lot of golfers would be fearful of because it would give them the feeling of actually kind of change in the distance they are away from the golf ball but you should be able to see with the down the line camera that that's not actually the fact it's not happening it's just your feeling there's an even bigger shift and opposition of forces at the bottom of the swing but to start off with you've then got to kind of balance it all out so get yourself at the top of the swing to kind of relax both in your arms which are then going to kind of drop and your body, which is kind of kind of drop with it and recenter itself. You don't want the feeling of kind of staying back when you're dropping your arms, and you don't want the feeling of springing forwards when you're dropping their arms, because there's no opposite forces happening at this point. On the contrary, we've got this kind of feeling of everything kind of relaxing, using the, the torsion in your body to rotate you back into the original starting position and the gravity to move your arms back down. At the same time now, as you're getting to the bottom of the swing, we're now gonna start to accelerate the club. And this is happening because the club is releasing this wrist angle, causing this catapult effect. The rotation is becoming dynamic. That means you are really actively moving your legs and your hips, your shoulders, which is accelerating this force which is obviously going to have the thing of pulling you down with it and this is why you've got to get your legs working up and away from the ball you don't want the feeling of going down with the club into the golf ball on the contrary in this release moment you've got to have the feeling of pushing away from the ground and straightening your legs which will help you to actually rotate your hips and shoulders quicker which will help to accelerate the golf club. After impact and through impact, of course, there are massive forces moving through the ball. And this is why your lead side has got to be resisting 
the temptation to go with the golf ball to the target, all feelings of wanting to move down the line and more the feeling of resisting as if here there were a wall and you're going to swing the club through the wall, allowing your arms to go into extension. And you can see this kind of resistance, the club pulling me towards the target, my lead side pushing me away from the target, my trail side resisting the temptation to fall backwards, holding me there. But this kind of yin and yang in the golf swing through the entire swing is often responsible for the balance of your swing and the timing of your golf swing. And without allowing these the natural forces to oppose one another, then you're gonna get into all kinds of problems in your swing. So I thought this week I'd just kind of make you aware of that and try and help you to get a kind of a feeling for it. So the first thing again, when you start your backswing, have the feeling that you are pressing against the inside of your trail foot, almost as if you had a ball under the side of it. And as your arms swing up and back, have the feeling of pushing against the trail side and almost allowing your trail leg to straighten a bit and get your hip back. So the feeling of, of your arms going backwards and away from you, but you're staying over the ball. As you get more to the kind of middle to top of the swing, also the feeling of the crunching in the lead side staying down over the golf ball. Then there comes a little bit of a kind of relax, uh, relaxation in the swing as we kind of go into the transition, what we call the move here. We allow the hips to rotate back, the shoulders to rotate, partially back towards the target. And as the club comes down to, to parallel, this is when everything starts to get active. The club is now going in, in the downward direction. You've got to be pushing away with your legs up. So you're getting the, the opposite forces working through the golf ball. As your arm, your trail arm is extending towards the target, your lead side has got to be resisting away from the target. And as you get to this position, really, this is probably where the biggest fight is going on. It's a moment after that that you're relaxing and just allowing the club to pull us up into the end position. So I'm not having to work to get around or get up. I'm actually timing it correctly. So at some stage, I simply give up and allow the club to pull me into the end position. All something which takes an awful lot of exercise and practice but that's the reason why the golf swing looks so fluid so relaxed it's just this perfect balance that the golf professionals are able to get between the forces which are moving away from the ball and behind them the forces moving to the ball at the same time and most importantly through the golf ball their ability to resist with the lead side as they go into a really dynamic movement through the golf ball. And really I have the feeling as I release the club through the ball, almost a kind of stamping into the ground with my lead foot in order to get <clears throat> enough counterbalance forces to keep me balanced through impact and get the ball on the middle of the club face. Hope this helps you. Go out there and try it. If it does, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. If you'd like to become a patron to the channel, I should leave a link below. Big, big thanks as ever to all the patrons who've supported me this season. We'll see you all very shortly with the next one. Bye-bye.